Welcome back everybody to Weems Motor Co. Today we are in the shop and we're going to be talking about magneto ignitions. My name is Magneto. Okay, so we're at the shop talking magneto ignitions. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly mm -hmm. is a magneto? And this is a question I get asked quite often actually. And the simple answer is a magneto is a all-in-one unit that provides an ignition spark to your motor. Now these were most commonly found on pre-unit triumphs. So a lot of people ask, well, what is a pre-unit triumph? Prior to 1963, Triumph designed their motors where the engine was a separate component from the transmission, making it a pre-unit. Awesome. In 1963, they combined the transmission and the engine into one construction, making it a unit wow. construction motor. So on the pre-unit motors, you have what was called a magneto. Now there are several different manufacturers for magnetos, uh, but the most common one of those would be Lucas. Now, if you've heard that name before, you probably heard it in some sort of manner as a joke. Uh, it's often been called that Lucas is the Prince of Darkness. Now, what does that mean? Well, what it means is you're on your cool old British motorcycle and you're riding through the woods at night just trying to get back home after having a few beers at the pub and all of a sudden your lights go out. It's because the Prince of Darkness, Lucas Major Electronics, they were not known as the most reliable electronic systems that were out. However, they did a really good job for what they are. So Lucas was the main manufacturer for a majority of the components that were on the electric systems of pre-unit Triumphs. There was another company, however, that built a Magneto, and that company was called BTH. Now you would find the BTH Magnetos uh, on a lot of the earlier models, say 1952 and earlier, uh, because uh, Lucas at that time had not really designed a great component for the pre-unit Triumphs yet. Um, so the Triumphs were majority were using the BTH Magneto. Now the thing is, is this component is a lot more expensive for Triumph to purchase and put on their engines. So later when Lucas came out with their design, they said, hey, it's affordable, it works for what we need, so we're gonna save some money and go to the Lucas. But the BTH Magneto is a great, great Magneto if you can find one. The problem is, is when you do find them, they're either not working or they're missing parts, and it's very expensive to find parts for the BTH Magnetos. But these you would find, like I said, on the earlier pre-unit Triumphs. So let's talk a little bit about the Lucas Magneto. Essentially, the Lucas Magneto came out in two different versions. You had the K2F and the K2FC. Now, looking at them, generally you say, oh, okay, well, they look about the same. They're pretty much the same component. Well, the K2FC was a competition magneto. It allowed for a little bit better fire of the spark plugs. So you get a bike and you pull it to your home and you wonder what kind of magneto is on it. Say, it's, you know it's a Lucas. Um, you could look at a little data that's on the front of the magneto. The majority of the times these are worn down. You can't read them. So you have to go to a secondary option. The secondary option is you simply look at the pickups. Now the pickups, what is a pickup? No, a pickup is not the truck you ride in through the middle of the field with your buddies throwing back some beers. No, a pickup is actually the portion of where the spark plug lead attaches to the magneto. As the spark plug lead enters the pickup, there's a small piece of carbon on the other side. Many people think it's plastic, it's actually carbon, that rides on a ring on the inside of the magneto. This allows the electrical current to transition through the pickup, out the spark plugs, to the spark plug. Now, so the easy way to tell the difference between the K2F and the K2FC is you look at those pickups. Now, on the K2F, 
The pickup is attached by a small clip that holds the pickup into place and you simply pull them away so you can replace the carbon. On the K2FC, however, the pickups are attached by two screws. So if you have that magneto that has the data plate that's worn down and you cannot tell, just simply look for the pickups. If they screw in, you have a competition magneto. If they clip on, then you have the K2F. Both magnetos are great magnetos. They're amazing. Now you might be wondering, well, how exactly does it work? It's just a big block of metal that weighs a lot of pounds. It's crazy. Well, essentially the magneto works off of magnetic current. What happens as the magneto rotates, it goes across two magnetic fields that send a charged signal to a set of points. Well, what is a point? A point, sometimes called contact breakers, is a simple small device that has two pads that are in contact. Now, as they open, they'll send a slight spark, which sends the signal through the pickup down the spark plug lead out to the spark plugs. So the next question to ask is, well, how does the magneto work? Well, on the end of the magneto, there is an oblong hole. Now, as the cam turns, it opens and closes the points. Now, as those open and close, it sends that spark down the pickup, out the spark plug lead to the spark plug firing the motor. The next question is, how does it rotate? Well, on the opposite side of your magneto, it has a small shaft, and then on the end of the shaft is a gear that attaches on the timing side of your motor. It works off of the rotation of the intake cam pinion gear, causing this to rotate in a counterclockwise manner. So there you have it, the magneto. It's not magic, a lot of people think it's magic, but it's actually a really amazing piece of manufacturing that is still in use today. Now there are several companies who are still manufacturing magnetos. Joe Hunt magnetos being one and Morris magnetos being another. These magneto systems they make for pre-unit triumphs and you can also get them for unit model triumphs which would be 1963 and later. They also make them for other brands of motorcycles, Yamaha, Honda, Harley Davidson. Uh, so you can get a magneto system for your modern motorcycle. Now what's the positives? The positives of having a magneto is that you do not have to run a battery. You can run simply off of the rotation of the motor and it will cause the motor to run. Now later on in years, around 1958, Triumph started to incorporate a new ignition system into the pre-unit motors. This system is very difficult to find, many times it's missing components, uh, many guys didn't like the new technology so they went back to a magneto ignition system, but I like to call this system a special system. Well isn't that special? <laughs> Now the system that I'm talking about is called a Lucas Rita Ignition. Yes, Lucas, the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> they came out with this design that works very similar to a magneto system. It runs off the pinion gear of the intake cam, causing this gear to turn. However, it is not an all-in-one unit. This unit requires you to have other components outside of the ignition system to cause it to work. Those components being a battery, a set of coils, and an ignition module. As you can see, that's a lot of things to add onto your motorcycle, and the old guys like the old systems. They're all in one unit. It's a lot easier to use. Uh, so the new systems did not get incorporated till later on in manufacturing. Now, the Lucas Rita Magnition, uh, Ignition System is a really cool ignition system. It kind of takes the components of having an electronic ignition like you would find on your modern motorcycle and applying it to a very vintage motorcycle 
On this system, as the pinion gear turns, there is a pickup and magnet that as it turns and bypasses that magnet, it sends an electronic signal through the wires to your ignition module telling it to, hey, we need to send some power via the battery to the set of coils. Now, as the power comes in, it amplifies within the coil and it sends it down the spark plug leads to your spark plug. So essentially those are the two ignition systems that you would find on a pre-unit Triumph from a factory condition. I know it's a bit nerdy, but I really enjoy it. These motorcycles, they have a soul, they have a purpose, and they have a use. Even 50, 60, 70 years later, it's amazing. So what you're going to see now is a really quick assembly video from the Magneto that we built for the David Mann Replica Hot Dog on Hot Dog, the raffle giveaway bike. If you haven't had the chance to purchase your tickets for that, we only have a short time left. Make sure you go to this link right here. Tickets are only $25 a piece. All of those that dollars that come in go to support Forgotten Angels where they're building tiny homes for homeless teenagers who have aged out of the foster care system. So make sure you go over and check that out. There you have it guys that's magneto systems for the triumph motors uh we hope you really enjoyed that video if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button go ahead and subscribe and turn those notifications on we want to say thank you to all of our recent patreons if you want to find more information on how to support us how to keep these cool videos coming to you guys maybe get some behind the scenes action go check it out on patreon you guys have a great day peace